Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Mum. Delighted to be here, and uh, thanks all for coming. I'm um, very pleased to be part of this first uh, poetry series at Open. Um, I'm going to read first a poem from the chapbook Round the Clock. It's called The Impressionists, and it's a kind of um, it's a kind of um, pitch for uh, for a TV show, um, perhaps for an arts channel. The Impressionists. Round them up, the Impressionists, even those straddling the margins of their place and time. Idealists prone to self-harm, hermits opting to stay unwashed for weeks, students of the bodies of chocolate prepubescent girls, and lock them in a house, loaded with cameras and microphones. Force them to speak our language, offer them a budget, scarcely adequate for food or tools, and present them with tasks to construct a sunrise, say, or to stay underwater for an hour. Insert moles, tantruses, syphilis, critics. Divide them into bedrooms of three. Command the sun to scream overhead daily. Scrutinize them as they disintegrate into bedlam or rally round leaders. Then make them stand up and nominate each other for execution. Naturally, the decision on who survives the vote rests solely with us. Repeat the process occasionally until only one remains to be declared the greatest impressionist of all time before he too is brought before the guillotine. A couple of poems now from uh, my latest collection, Spitting Out the Mother Tongue, which is, I suppose, a collection of, of poems that have to do with the places and the people and the circumstances I grew up with. Um, and it's a sort of clearing of the throat, I suppose. Um, this poem is kind of a collage of images and memories and experiences, etc., all um, kind of thrown together as memories tend to be, all mixed up. It's called Coming of Age. The music is soppy and loud. Men leave their shirts unbuttoned. Giant golden crosses glint from their graying chests. Women are busy and dressed in black. Priests with long beards and hitched up hair, stand out in the night heat like bad luck. Jasmine flowers fall from dancers for hire. Army captains stretch for a handful. Communists and nationalists argue. Every plate is mountain full. Pork has been roasted. Rabbits have been stewed. Rumors. Will cousin be visiting from New York this summer? Whom will uncle endow with a sound system from dirt cheap Saudi Arabia this Christmas? Scandals spill out of pickup trucks and estate cars. Fruit boxes are traded at traveling markets. Card games and backgammon battles rage on until late on dimly lit verandas. Plans are drawn up for weddings, christenings, end of year celebrations. Tales of abandoned serenades are relayed one more time. Rise early to climb the mountain, etch initials and dates on the walls of the chapel, ring its bells, scurry back down in the searing sun to deep feet in healing waters. Discuss further education. Warwick, Thessaloniki, Chicago. Dream of last gasp three-pointers. Work up a sweat. Lemonade, biscuits, a shower and a snack, the news at 8.30, an Oscar winner or a Greek soap, taxi to the disco, entry by face control, handshakes, air guitar, harmless good nights, burger with chips and milkshake, a drive around town, stop and flick through the sports pages, home for porn on TV. Get up late and wet. 
Tune in to British Forces Radio, Wireless for the Blind. Hurry Downtown, Video Games, Pinball Wizardry, Pool Matches. Smoke in Disreputable Bars. <coughs> Debate Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. Run out of cash. Catch a ramshackle bus back. Steam is rising from the streets. Lunch late. Nap in air-conditioned rooms. Wake up to Turkish coffee and syrupy cake. Glasses and plates clink. Meat turns on spits. TVs boom. And one more from, uh, from this direction. Um, similar kind of idea about, suppose, uh, the transference of memories and experience from past to, um, to the present and perhaps the impossibility of it. It's called carry out. Light paler, sea, sky, muted, sand, smoldering. Heat carried out, bones not yet cooled. A collection of yelps, not a sensation. Cooling feet, self-erasing traces. Let me review circumstances. Water evaporates on our skin. Distinct shadows, we become lighter by the day. Our arms shapelier, our colors deep. Carry it? We cannot paint, fashion, write it. Spine struck by chill, nose forgets. Photographs forge focus. Daybooks contain photos, words, surfaces. Fun, health, abandon. The here and now, the there and then. Glow further erased with each revisit. End hand experience. A blank canvas triggers. Um, now I'd like to read a couple of poems from the forthcoming chapbook called Muses Walk. Um, it, it will contain 16 uh, poems, each of which has a um, title and starting point, uh, a line from a previous poem in the previous book. So the first uh, poem I'm going to read tonight is called In a bookshop pervaded by dust, an old man sits alone, leafing through miscellanies and maps. The Russian knows about facts and about books, about the histories of countries and about how things were made or became. He's not Russian at all, they say. It's just a name passed down. My shadow is long as I speak from atop a box, servant to Christ again, not a diminutive, though the flowery gates of Sunday indoctrination lie withered behind me. I might have been a talisman, but the name didn't become me, so I made myself. And this is called Troop Players Arrive at the Theatre in the Corner. Masks on a ring, a theatre of pain. Is tragic comedy, marriage, body politic, discomfits. The huge mole on his cheek and her lesbian tendencies mocked. Cheap laughs, vulgar and cleansing. Respectable children discouraged from laughing. Street kids reveling in misfortune. And uh, a couple more, if I have time. Um, first one is, uh, I suppose, a sort of response to cuts to public services and to arts organizations, etc., etc., but in more, more particularly to, to libraries. Um, and it's called The Executioner's Confession. <coughs> I do it in reverse. I rip their hearts out first, then remove their clothes. Whether filthy or untouched, 
I pile them in columns and rows. I snap their spines. I spare a few chosen ones. An indispensable classic, a specialist interest slim, someone's quirky project, my selection idiosyncratic. I work through long lists. I arrange their remains in stacks of similar build for others more expert than me to band together. They load them onto trucks, transport them to pulping camps. There are fumes of labor and thought, rivers of ink. I execute so many, a broth of soot and blood starts to ooze from beneath my fingernails. And still I lay them in heaps. Lamenting their loss is not my job. Come five o'clock, I, I wash wine dark clots off my hands and make tea. And one last one called Search Engine. Start typing Athens into your search engine, and predictably, you'll be sent to Athens, Georgia. But isn't the capital of Georgia Tbilisi, you ask? Home is neither here nor there. You'd better think again if you expect to find the English Northwest when you enter Manchester. Thank you.